What's up, drumheads? My studio's right there, but I figured this would be more fitting. I hope you're all well, given the current situation. Today is March 27th, and they've officially put South Africa on a full three-week lockdown. Nothing's open, beaches are closed, only the food shops and the banks. You know the drill. We're all freaking out. We're all self-isolating. We should be. But most important, we're bored as fuck. But I think a more positive way to think about it is we've literally been given the gift of time. You have a lot of time right now to practice something, anything. So I've been trying to think of, okay, well, what am I gonna work on? So the other day I got a text message in my little drum group chat from my buddy Damien, and it was basically this exercise written by Austin Burcham, and it's basically 15 different creative practice pad exercises. Uh, and working on the practice pad is something that I've always wanted to do, only done it a little bit. Austin was awesome for posting this, like such great timing, you know? I think this is something that we can all use. So if you wanna check out his video, I'll try and put a link to it somewhere here, maybe down below. Um, and also he has a full PDF of all 15 of these exercises. Uh, you can get it on his website, abbdrums.com. I don't wanna take credit for any of these exercises. I'm literally just showing you guys kind of what I wanna practice for the next few weeks. Uh, I wanna do it every single day. But yeah, got the dusty old practice pad. I'm gonna try and hash out these exercises. Uh, I'm not really gonna talk about them, otherwise the video will be super long. Uh, I'm just gonna try and blow through them and try and try and find my goal tempo. Meaning like not the fastest I could do it, but fast enough to where it's still controlled and my hands are relaxed, you know? Every day I kinda wanna try and push that, push that boundary and just see what happens. So I'll just put the fastest tempos I got to on here and then maybe in three weeks I'll post another video and try and see what the fastest tempo is and um, see if there's any difference between the two. So without further ado, let's do some practice pad exercises. the best I can do. I realized I just spent like 15 minutes working out that first one. I'm not gonna be able to do all these like perfectly. They're gonna be so sloppy because I never practice on the pad. So just bear with me. I'm gonna post my best take, but just bear with me because some of them are gonna suck. Oh my god, that's, that's a really hard one. That's really freaking weird, man. I spent way too long on that one.
Oh my god, this one's ridiculous. The double stroke accent shifter. No way, bro. That one's funky. That one is weird, man. Don't you think so? What's up? High five. You don't like that noise. Daddy sucks. Dude, this one's hard. This one's hard. Man, that was really tough. That took a long time. It's like 5 p.m. now, and I started at 1. Some of those were really difficult. I'm not a practice pad guy. I don't play on the practice pad often. I don't play on the practice pad at all. So I think it's gonna be a really good thing for me to work on uh, for the next few weeks. I'm gonna try and do it every single day. Maybe do each of those exercises for like two minutes or so. So that's like a half hour workout if you think about it. 15 exercises, two minutes each, 30 minute workout. You wanna do three minutes each, you got yourself a 45 minute workout. Do the math, kids. Do the math. But yeah, I dug it. There's a bunch of stuff in there. A lot of control stuff. I was really thinking about the muscles I was using within my arms, like when would I use my wrist or when would I use my fingers or getting more in tune with how they feel actually. Cause I don't really think about my hands that much and like what muscles I'm using. So a lot of these exercises are really good for that kind of stuff. I'll keep you updated. Uh, in three weeks from now, I'll post a video and uh, we can kind of compare and maybe see if I got any faster, if I got any stronger. I'll talk to you about how I feel or the things I discovered while doing this. Thank you, Austin, for putting this exercise out there for everybody. And also, of course, for everyone who wants to try this out, I'll put a link in the description below to Austin's YouTube channel uh, and his website as well. That way you can get the PDF off the website. It's late in the evening. I was gonna walk the dog, but then remembered that I can't. This really sucks. Gotta stay positive. Gotta stay positive. Oh, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna lose my shit. No, you're good. You're good, Brandon. You can do things with the time. Like what? You can edit this video. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.